And what up everybody, welcome back to Pro Publications YouTube channel. This channel talk about zines and DIY publishing. And today we got a zine review for you. I will be reviewing Hermit Stew issue number four. An amazing comic book zine uh, from Eric Chavez. I love this series and it just gets better every time. So we're going to do a quick look through that. But before we do that, I just want to remind everyone, issue number 11 of the Feral Comics comic book zine anthology is out. Uh, thank you so much to everyone that's purchased uh, copies, people that got subscriptions in this, this month. Thank you guys, man. I appreciate it. This project continuously grows and gets bigger. And for any underground cartoonists out there, anyone that wants to start dabbling and making comic books, don't forget Feral Comics is open for submissions and we do pay contributors. Not only do you get a contributor's copy, but you also get paid for your, for your art. So hit me up if you guys are interested in that. So let's go ahead and get into the zine review. So here we have it, you guys, Hermit Stew number four will be today's zine review. And I wanted to just show you guys for scale. This is the comic book zine anthology that I published, Feral Comics, issue number 11, latest issue. You can see how much more space this has. So Hermit Stew is a fairly large comic book zine. This is actually what got my head thinking that if I bought the printer, I can just make a, a more traditional formal comic book and that was thanks to the homie eric chavez who makes this comic now i have been floored and absolutely amazed with this comic series it gets stronger and stronger and one of the things that i'm enjoying seeing in this latest issue is a longer world building session like this story feels like a like a 20 page long story Whereas in the original issues, it was one page, kind of more of a comic strip, four panel comic strip. And then each one was kind of its own little joke. This is now a full blown world with villains and characters and different dynamics and callbacks to the earlier issues. It's fucking good, man. It's really, really good. And I want to show something else, right? Because this is something that I found just fucking great the motion the motion in this comic right here i fucking love right and it leads into this fight scene and i'm just digging i'm just digging the motion in it man it's hella strong another thing is here you're starting to get a little more backstory on why he his enemies are his enemies and also you see some character development. You see some character development with their homie right here. I thought that was great, right? But this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about right here. He says, no Officer Grimes, they've been with me all afternoon, I swear. Kind of playing an innocent, right? And then he goes more malicious. Or would you rather talk to my father, the mayor, for a more official statement? And the cop says, hmm, that won't be necessary. Your daddy may own this town, Romeo, but he don't own me. And that's what I'm talking about. Like, there's just this big world that he's building about punks, uh, jocks, police. That's another good bit in this one, actually. This is This was a hella funny bit where basically there's a chain gang and they're doing a lot of work. And one of them starts crying. All right, he's crying. He's like, Grimes, I can't do that anymore. I got to see my son. He's like, hey, I almost forgot. I got you something, huh? And it's a drawing from his kid, right? He's like, oh, my God. Thank you, Grimes. He's like, hush. The swinging line is waiting. He's like, what the fuck? This was had like a fucking breakdown. He gives him a picture from his fucking kid and tells him, get back to work, sucker. That shit is just... This is funny, man. That, and that's one of the things, like... I, I hella identify with Eric Chavez's uh, fucking humor, but I dig, I dig the way he like introduces these ideas, motion, pain, all of that. Like, it's his own way of talking about things, right? Like, look at this panel over here when they're drinking beer. I thought this was a hella good panel too. I love these panels that he does, right? They're drinking beer and it's like everything gets warped, and and I just fucking I dig that that. In this world that he's building, the way that he communicates with us is very, very authentic to Eric Chavez. It's a very, 
It's a very unique cartooning. Not to be confused with anyone else's style or storytelling devices. It's literally, this is, this is coming from this cartoonist. And I love that. It's the reason why I love underground comics. I absolutely love that comic book. I'm telling you guys right now, if you guys haven't picked up an issue of any of the Hermit Stews, I will have to say that this latest issue is probably one of the stronger, better ones. But as he is building a world, you might want to start from the beginning. But beyond that, man, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Lates.